In today's video, I'm going to be playing one of my favorite free and open source games, Zero AD. Zero AD has been around for many years. Uh, technically, it's in alpha. It's uh, alpha 25 is the version, the current version. But don't let that name fool you. I think it's just going to be perpetually in alpha forever. <laughs> but it's actually not alpha quality software. It's actually uh, very fully featured. It has online uh, abilities as well. You can play multiplayer against real people online. It does have a single player mode that's very nice. You can play against the computer, against an AI. That's what I'm going to do today. So typically, I play against the AI 1v1 and I set the AI to the very hard level, which is the hardest level. And these days I've gotten to the point where 1v1, I almost always beat the AI, even on the very hard settings. So today I wanted to make it a little more difficult, more challenging. So today I'm going to choose a map that's a three player map. So no teams, just three separate players every man for himself. So it's going to be me and two AI opponents. I'm going to choose the Gambia River here, this particular map where each player has its own section at the bottom of the map, its own civilization at the bottom of the map. And then above the river here, the sliver of land at the top of the map is where all the harvestable metal on the map will be. So those of you that are not familiar with Zero AD, there's four resources that your civil there's four resources that your citizens have to gather, and those are food, metal, wood, and stone. And metal is very important in the late game because many of your strongest units require metal. So your champion units, uh, sometimes your heroes, siege engines, mercenary units, a lot of those units require metal for you to train them. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose this map here and I'm going to try to get to the top of the map and claim as much of the top of the map as possible so I can harvest as much metal as possible so I can build stronger mercenary units and champion units. So let me go ahead and choose this map. I'm going to select that map. I'm going to make sure that the AIs, the two AIs, both are set to very hard. And then I'm going to choose my civilization. It looks like uh, the Kushites was the last civilization I played. Uh, my favorite civilization, the one I'm most comfortable with, is the Carthaginians. And because this is going to be rather tough playing against two very hard AI opponents, I'm going to choose the Carthaginians. I want to make sure I play the civilization that I'm the best at. So I'm going to go ahead and start the game. And wait for a second as the map loads. For those of you not familiar with Zero AD, it's kind of like a clone of Age of Empires. It's, a, again, real-time strategy. So immediately, I've got the women out. I'm going to go ahead and let's go ahead and build a farmstead. I'll send them to these berries over here. And let's go ahead and queue up. I'll queue up some cav. I want some cavalry units. Let's get this horse going that way. These guys, we probably want them to go ahead and chop wood. I've used up all my wood training up the three new cab units. So I can't build a storehouse, but this wood is close enough to the Civic Center that that's fine. They can just walk the wood back to the Civic Center. Let's get this guy scouting a little bit. Now this map does have some dangerous creatures on it that will harm your units. You see all these crocodiles around the river? They actually will kill your people. So you do have to be very careful here. When this calf comes out, I'm going to send them out with that calf. And what I would like to do is the four calf units. Let's actually scout the top of the map a little bit. Because I would like to know exactly where the metal mines are. Just going to send them around. It doesn't look like there's anything to hunt on this map. That's rather unfortunate. All right, and we are very low on food. I've already been attacked by a crocodile. Oh, that's not good. Yeah. Yeah, I'm losing my calf because of the crocodiles. So I'm actually gonna not scout the map. <laughs> wow, I lost a calf unit thanks to the crocodiles. Wow. Yeah, this map is very dangerous. You know what, I'm just gonna have the calf units take out the crocodiles while they're over there. Because eventually I'm going to build out that way. And if my calf is having problems with the crocodiles, imagine, you know, what a, a group of women or even the, the uh, men soldiers, like the archers, you know, when I send them that way, they're going to have a tough time fighting all of these crocodiles. So you know, let's 
Let's go ahead and take care of all of that. All right, I'm getting more food now so I can train more citizens. I need to start thinking about building a house. So I am about to run out of population space. I'm going a little slow here. Got off to a slow start because honestly this map, I really wasn't expecting it not to have any kind of hunt, which I wouldn't have trained for cavalry units if I'd have known there was nothing for them to hunt anywhere on the map. But I am glad that I went ahead and got the, the crocodiles taken care of. Go ahead and send them out here to take care of these crocodiles as well. I would have liked to have been way further along as far as population, space. Uh, I did get kind of behind. I probably shouldn't have trained the cab units at first. Had I known there was no hunt at all on this map, I definitely would not have trained all those cab units because they really do nothing for me and we're getting the wood situation is looking a little better kind of low on food though I need to start thinking about what to do with food here in a second I might need to go ahead and transition some of these women to farms here in a minute more women going to berries over here so I was lucky that I had plenty of berries one thing I need to start thinking about is getting a proper storehouse out here so they don't have to walk so far to the Civic Center to drop this wood off we go ahead put a storehouse here that way I've got two different drop-off locations makes it a little more efficient I don't like that these women have to walk so far with the berries here. I'd like to get another farmstead here. How did my cab units do? Are they okay? Yes, looks like I've got all three still. The one of them looks like he's injured. Are they not able to cross here? I guess they're they're not able to cross this river. Uh, well, what I'm probably going to have to do is build a dock, so that's that's good to know. I'll have to build a dock and then build some ships to take our people across. All right, let me go ahead and start getting some farms built. We'll get a farmstead built over here as well. We are going to run out of food soon if we don't start farming. All right, and we need to start training more folks. Got to queue up more folks to train here. Yes, yeah, So we need to make sure we're constantly building houses. Yes, yeah, Just gonna send this woman over here to build a house. All right. I have no idea. How far along our two AI opponents are going to be. Uh, my start to this was a little slow. I'm not happy about the start. I should be much further along. Again, not being familiar with the map. You know, I really shouldn't have started the way I did with those cav units because the cav units, for one thing, they had no hunt. The other thing, they can't cross the river, so I can't go uh, raid my opponents. Yes, yeah, well, this river over here looks a little skinnier. Maybe they can go this way. They just can't cross the river at the top of the mountain. But this here looks like it may be shallow enough they can cross. Still got some crocodiles I'll go ahead and take care of here. All right, I need to start training some male soldiers. So I'm going to start training some archers. I'll train a few spearmen as well. We want a good mix of archers and spearmen. Because if we got attacked right now, I only have 35 population. And probably 28 of those are probably women. I, mean, I don't have very, have very many actual soldiers here. So, uh, 
part of the problem here is we're starting to run low on wood. I've got plenty of food, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to train, even though I need more male soldiers, I'm going to train a bunch of women because to train women you only need food, you don't need any wood. And as soon as I get this new group of women out, I am going to send them to chopping wood. Because that's what we're low on. Yeah, Steve. We need to start thinking about going to a new wood line as well. We're going to start chopping wood up here as well. And then we can chop this wood line out here later too. I'll build a storehouse out there. We've got plenty of wood on the map. The only thing we don't have, we've got one metal mine, one stone mine over here. But that's it. When I was scouting the map of the cave, there's no other stone or metal. So if we want metal, especially, which we're going to need in the late game, we have got to get to the, the top of the map here, which I still don't think I can cross. Okay. The cave units are just not able to cross that river. So to get up there, I am going to have to build a dock eventually and build ships. That's something I need to start thinking about. Send these spearmen when they come out up here. The good thing about building a dock is you can build it in neutral territory. So I can send people to the top of the map right now and build a dock. All I need to make sure is I, I need to make sure I have the wood to build that dock. Because right now, we're kind of low on wood, so I want as many people chopping wood right now as possible. Part of the reason I'm low on wood is I've built plenty of houses. I've got population space to have as many as 70 population. I'm only at 55. So I built more houses than I really needed, but that's not a bad thing. Uh, I'm, I'm just a little bit ahead of where I needed to be. I don't mind being a little ahead of the game. Let's go ahead and build a couple more houses while I'm thinking about it. We got the wood. I'm going to start spamming out some population here in a second. One of the things to spam out a lot of population is we need to be training for more than one building. So let's go ahead and get a barracks out. Barracks is where you can train all your soldiers, well, most of your soldiers. For me, I can train my spearmen, my archers, and more cav units from the barracks. That way, the civic center, once I have the barracks up, I'll strictly train women from it. I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and move to phase two, which is the town phase. So we're going to get out of the small village phase that you start in to phase two, which is a town phase. So our territory will grow. I wish I was a little further along on population before hitting the button, but we're already nine minutes into the game. I need to move to phase two because I need some phase two buildings. For example, I want to eventually train some mercenary troops and they're not available to me until I move to phase two. So that's why we want to go ahead and get there as quickly as we can. Yes, Grab a group of these, send them up here to build a new storehouse, get a couple of storehouses along this tree line. When these guys come out of this barracks, I want them to go straight to that tree line. Uh, we need women back on food, so let me get these women back to farming. Probably some of these women here, I've got seven women in that wood line, send them to farming as well because we're getting ahead on wood and we're starting to lag a little bit on food. Build another field right here next to this farmstead. And just get some farmers out and keep training male soldiers from the barracks, although I'm still light on wood here. Let's go ahead and build another barracks. I'm going to just start building straight out. I want to get to this river and build a dock here in a minute. One thing I need to do is I need to build a market. Now we're in phase two. There's several buildings you have to build so you can move to phase three. You have to build what they call three phase two buildings before you can move to phase three. One of the buildings you almost always are going to need is the market. It's usually the first one you build. 
Uh, the other one you're going to need is the blacksmith or the forge, is what it's called in some civilizations. Let me go ahead and build my market and my blacksmith. The third phase to building, typically for me, is going to be a temple. Temples are nice because they heal, especially your frontline troops. I'm going to build it toward the front lines. The market and the forge, you don't want to build those on the front lines because those could get captured and because they're such important buildings that you'll use all the time. You really don't want to place them in harm's way, so you want to keep them back toward uh, your defensive position, typically toward your civic center. I need to start building houses now. Uh, I don't want to build a house there because I'm going to need a storehouse there eventually. But build some houses back out here. At least one right there. These guys that are chopping wood, I'll get them to pause just for a second to build a house. And these are the double houses. The Carthaginians are one of the uh, civilizations that in phase two, they can build what is these apartment buildings, these double sized houses, where the regular house gives me uh, an extra boost in population of 10. The double houses, the apartment buildings, give me a boost of 20. So building two of them, will increase my population capacity by an extra 40. I can't train that many troops right away though because I'm still struggling on wood. Let me get the wood cutting upgrade. So click on the storehouse and get the very first wood cutting upgrade. Also need to get the farming upgrade now that I've transitioned to farms. And make sure I keep sending women to farming. We could build some more fields. I could build a field right there. Let me go ahead and hotkey these two barracks together so I can train. I can just hit two on my keyboard. I'm going to put it on key two. So when I hit two, it actually queues up both barracks and I can train troops from both at the same time. I can also tell it where to send those troops, give them a, a muster a location here. I send everybody to this front wood line here. Uh, we've need to build our third phase two building, which needs to be the temple. So I'm gonna to go to the market and I'm gonna buy some stone because stone is required to build the temple and we haven't started mining yet. So the only way to get that stone to build this temple was to actually go to the market. So that's why we built the market first. I need to start thinking about mining though. I'm gonna go ahead and queue up 10 soldiers here from the civic center, send them straight to metal mining. I've got these guys here. I'm going to go ahead and build a storehouse right there and get them started on stone mining. Right now we're still not looking good on food. Not nearly as good on food as I'd like. Still have a ton of women out here chopping wood. I guess I could move some of these to farms. Actually, I don't want to take all of them off of farms. Just a few. All right. Build some more storehouses. All right. Now that I've got the temple up, can I move to phase three? Probably not, because you have to have a certain amount of, other than the three buildings you have to build, you also have to gather enough stone and metal in order to move to, to phase three, and I don't have the stone or metal. So I will sell some of my wood for stone and metal, just to help a little bit in that regard. And send some of the guys that are coming out of this barracks to stone, send the guys from the civic center to metal, also, I can go ahead and get the metal mining upgrade, the stone mining upgrade. I'll get the second wood cutting upgrade that's available in phase two. So you've got three different upgrades for wood, stone, and metal, depending on what phase you're in. All right. And then, how close are we? Well, we're still gonna need a ton more metal and stone to make it to phase three. But I'm collecting enough wood just try to sell as much wood as I can. All right. Now I just need a little bit more stone. 
I sold all the wood and food that I had, basically, to try to get as close to that number as possible. 58 more stone. I'll just let these guys gather it. They'll get there rather quickly. I'm housed, so one of the things I gotta make sure that I keep building houses. Still need 38 more stone to move to phase three. We need to start thinking about building that dock. Let's go ahead, since we cleared out, did we clear out all the crocodiles? Well, we cle cleared it out over here. Let's send them here. And build a dock right there. The dock will also kind of act like a civic center as far as it's a drop-off location for uh, wood and stone and metal. So we can keep mining uh, or chopping wood out here as well. I'm going to send the cab units, those three cab units I forgot about. I'm going to send them back out here because I want to have them kill the last couple of crocodiles that are out here. Just in case the crocodiles decide to harass my citizen soldiers that are building the port. Give up some more troops. Also need to remember, keep building. Keep building house. Actually, before I built the house. You up. Phase three. All right. Now we're moving to phase three. Just wanted to make sure I didn't waste any resources building a house that could have been used to move to phase three if it was kind of a close situation like another barracks too only having two barracks I would like more I'm gonna need my embassies as well the embassy is where you hire your mercenary units which I can't really train any mercenary units until I get metal one thing I could do is I could trade for metal with the market as I could actually build a second market and then hire some merchant traders that will trade between the two markets and I will earn metal in that case, if I wanted to, to do that. It's slow, but it does give you some extra resources if you need it. If you have a, a large map, and this map is pretty big, because the more resources you gather, you actually need to have your markets really spread out. All right, and these guys can go back to chopping wood. Again, the port here is a drop-off location. I'm gonna go ahead, let's build a warship. When the warship is built, then I can put my troops on it and have them cross over. And then once they get to the other side, hopefully find some metal mines and start mining metal. Actually, I had enough metal for 15 of these merc mercenary uh, cab units, which these guys are really good. I also want to take my priests with me across the sea. All right. Yes, Steve. Let's get this boat here. How many can fit? 30? Perfect. That's 25. We'll take the priests. That's all that will fit on that. But I'll come back and pick up some more in a second. All right. Let's keep churning getting kind of behind on population. Again, I don't know what the two AI players are doing. They could be way ahead. One thing I haven't done is I really haven't done anything defensively as far as I haven't built any towers. Like if somebody wanted to attack my uh, civic center area here, they'd really have no problem uh, hurting me pretty bad. Uh, let's see if I can wall some of this off with some houses, at least. I'm going to build some houses just to kind of put a buffer between us and, and, and any potential en enemy that's uh, going to come over. All right, now we cross with the ship, and then we let everybody out. Of course, we do have crocodiles. But this group is big enough, they should have no problems. Now let's see if we can find a metal mine. Let's send that ship back across here. I want you guys, of course, to pick up. I'm going to 
keep training these uh, mercenary cavalrymen. Yes, these. These guys are awesome. Prato. All right. Well, we've got deer. Oh, we have hunt here. So when if I get cab units over here, Prato. that'd be great to have them take care of all that hunt. Oh, that's a lot of food. Oh, here's the metal mine. All right. So the only thing is, I can't gather that unless I build a civic center. I'm going to need some resources. I've got plenty of wood now, so I'm going to borrow for stone and metal so I can build a civic center. The civic center is also be a drop-off location for uh, food as well. That's perfect. All these elephants. That is a lot of food. So that takes care of the farming situation. Because once I get the calf over there, they will have no problem cleaning up all of that food. So that's 18 cab units that are out. 19, I believe. There. Got several more, but I'm not going to wait. I'm going to go ahead and get the cab units across the sea. And then I'm going to send them straight to the elephants, I think. Just have them start collecting all that food. That's a massive amount of food. Alright. They should get to the elephants about the time the civic center is getting completed. Alright. Let's go ahead and get the third metal upgrade, the third stone upgrade, the third wood cutting upgrade. Oh, I was attacked by Gaia. That's me being attacked by wild animals. That's probably right here. The lion. The lion is killing some of my... That ain't good. Also, my cav units have got to be careful with the elephants. One of them died. That's not good. I should have directed them better. I should have been micromanaging that situation instead of just... Problem is... I want them to lure that elephant away from the group. There we go. These guys, they're all going after food. I don't need you guys going after food. I need you guys going after metal. There's another metal mine that's just within reach. So that will be perfect. Some of you guys can chop wood or even go to stone. There's a stone mine here too. So this is really nice. So at this point, all I really want to do, heck, I'd like to go ahead and build my uh, fortress, get my hero out. And then, I'd like some elephants, because again, if we got attacked right now, I'm surprised we have not been attacked. But I've got nothing as far as siege or elephants or anything. have my ship here that I could put some folks on and send them to attack. That might be a good plan. Put some elephants on a ship and then send it out. Go ahead and build the last couple of houses I need. And that will give me the max population of 300 for the game here. I want to leave some room. I don't want to train up all 300, you know, just regular kind of soldiers. I want to save some room for the elephants. I want to save some room for the hero. I may want to save some room for some siege engines, like some rams or some uh, catapults or something like that as well. One thing about this situation here. Uh, you know what? The reason my calf is not doing good is they can't collect food, can they? The mercenaries can't. They can kill the elephant, but they cannot actually collect the food. That, I forgot about that. So all the uh, calf units I've been training are the mercenary calf units. They are a special kind of unit, being a mercenary unit. They are not allowed to collect resources, so they can't collect food. They can't collect wood, obviously. No calf unit co collect wood. But mercenary units, they just can't do any kind of 
collection. All right. Now I've got enough metal to train eight elephants. And you see the red line here? So the red civilization is going to start building into me. I tell you what, since these cav units are no good, I thought they could hunt. That was my, my mistake there. So I'm going to go ahead and get them back on the other side of the river. Because I will need them over here. They'd be much more important over here where they can do some good. And I should go ahead and start thinking about setting up some defensive towers or something. These guys finished the stone mine. So let's get them moving up. Put them right here. Oh, let's get a tower right here in between those two wood lines. Wouldn't mind having another barracks to train some troops from, because i got a feeling that this is going to be a point of contention here in just a second. Wouldn't mind having a temple here as well to heal troops as needed. If I can find a, a way to squeeze it in there. Uh, I don't want it to fit right there. Try to get these guys on the boat. Let's keep training more of the mercenary cav units, because these guys are really nice, really strong. You get enough of those guys together, which I've already got nearly 50 of them. Heck, let's go... Let's send those 50 cab units across the way. Because it's time to go see. Let's go ahead and queue up our hero. It's going to be Hannibal. How's our elephants doing? We've got five elephants out. Let's send the five elephants. Ah, there's a tower. Actually, could we capture that tower? I bet we could. Yeah, let's send a big enough force over there to see if we can capture that tower. Alright, so we did capture this tower. I'm going to go ahead and garrison it with some of my troops. If I don't garrison it, then it's really easy for them to capture back. Matter of fact, that's probably why I captured it in the first place, is the AI didn't have it garrisoned properly. This is a pretty good army here, especially with those 35 mercenary cav units, but I do have a mixture of five elephants, 13 archers, 16 spearmen. I might be able to capture their CC there. I'd like to get my hero down here as well. I don't know, I'd have to put him on the boat, I think. Eh, the river's gonna cause me some problems here. Keep training more mercenary cav. So it's these. Okay, they're not able to capture that CC. I'll have them destroy it. This is not working out for me. I'm losing a lot of troops. There's no way. No way I'm capturing that. So let me pull my guys out because I don't want to just throw a group that large away. Although I think I'm going to lose most of them anyway in retreat. Let me get them back here. Train some more. One thing we haven't done is we haven't upgraded our troops. Have we gone to the blacksmith? No. So this was a mistake on my part. We haven't got any of the upgrades that would make our troops stronger. And these guys are following us, which is good because they're going to run into this tower. The tower hopefully will stop them. This tower is also garrisoned. So, but I want these guys back here near the temple where they will hopefully get healed. Uh, they're going to try to capture that tower. I don't know if they can capture that tower. I think they can, actually. What I'm going to have to do is destroy that tower. Uh. Yes, 
Yeah, I'm getting low on population now, too. Yeah, this isn't going as, as well as I'd hoped. For one thing, I need my hero, because he is strong. It's the strongest unit I'm going to have. The other thing is, let's get more spearmen, more archers, get them toward the front line. Yeah, they killed pretty much everybody I had. But we did destroy the tower. <laughs> uh, but at what cost? Yeah, that's the problem. We have lost a lot here. Alright, start training from this barracks. I am very lucky that the other AI has not attacked. Right now we're just dealing with the one. And partly that's due to the, the way the map is set up. The other AI is on the other side of this AI. So <laughs> they'd have to fight each other before they could fight me. Let me get Hannibal out. And then let me move my ship back out of the way. It's kind of in a dangerous spot there. DSD. All right. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly. We weren't strong enough before to take that civic center. Had I had the hero with us, we probably could have pulled it off. One of the things, though, is, again, our troops were not upgraded, so I'm going to keep upgrading our troops. I need more metal for the upgrades. So I want to get these upgrades as fast as possible. I need more metal for the wheel to fight upgrade from the fortress. That's the biggest upgrade you could get, and it's well worth it. Sell as much food and wood, which I'm good on both get the will to fight upgrade and now my troops are about as strong as they can get and I'm getting closer to population max now all right I think I've got a good enough group now let's oh I still got elephants that are is that Hannibal my hero got a little crazy. He decided he was going to go attack this fortress by himself. Luckily, the hero is very strong. But still, he's not invincible. The hero by himself. You get a, a group against him, a large group, and he could have been killed there. One thing I want to do is I want to capture this fortress. I think if I capture this fortress, that'll give me my territory will, ex will extend over here, and then I can really start building out toward his civic center. I can build more towers, and I can start creeping a little closer to where I need to be. I don't know if he's got this fully garrisoned. If he does, it'll be darn near impossible to capture a fortress if it's garrisoned. It must be, because... I'm not making a den in it as far as trying to capture it. Let me destroy it a little bit and then try to capture it. There we go. I'm going to have to destroy it. There's no way. Well, I got the capture. I'm going to go ahead and garrison it if I can. Doesn't look like they're going to let me garrison it. I may have to repair it a little bit before I can garrison it. And now I've got it garrisoned, which means it's mine. And now, if I could get this tower, we just start capturing into him. Let me have at least one troop stay behind just to repair the, the fortress. So I don't want to lose the fortress that I just captured, because it's so weak it would be very easy to for him to recapture it. Let's see if I can get the tower here garrisoned. I can. And now he's in a lot of trouble. Now, go ahead, get a, a new barracks built here. 
I'd also like to do is get a tower built. I've got the, the barracks. Let's get a tower. I just want to make sure that we're good here. Got all these elephants that can't build anything. I could just send the elephants out to start destroying stuff. Got 15 elephants out. 15 elephants by themselves could probably destroy that civic center now. I don't want to send them alone though. I'll send some of the cab with them. I, actually, there's a civic center down here. Ah, he has two civic centers. That was his second one. He probably started out near the bottom of the map like I did and he built out that second one. I want to take this first one out though. So that's the one that's really the heart of his civilization. He's got all his farms around. Get some more troops. Do up some more of these excellent cav units. Which right now I'm at pop max so I really can't do much here. Alright, we destroyed his civic center. We didn't get the capture, but that's fine too. If I really wanted to capture all this, what I could do is I could build my own civic center right there. Which is... He's not going to let me. If they destroyed it. I'm just going to start capturing stuff then. I'm going to go ahead and garrison this here. These guys are walking a million miles to deposit wood because I never built a storehouse. They started chopping wood. Matter of fact, why don't we get everybody that's chopping wood over here and have them chop wood where the fight's at. That way I can use them as I, I need them. The barracks, destroy the barracks. Now, I did lose a few of my troops here. Let me go ahead and see if I can get this civic center built that I was trying to build. If I can get a civic center built right here, that really takes all of his uh, city, basically, away from him. Other than that new civic center he built off by itself up here. But being by itself... You know, I, I think I can take that Civic Center from him very easily. Uh-oh. I see the green civilization. So this is the AI number three here. He finally showed up. He was probably battling uh, with the red civilization, and I kind of got in the way. I took him out first before he could... Yeah, so now I've got a couple of guys fighting down here, the green guys. I'm trying to build this civic center as well. Let's see what other upgrades I can get from the blacksmiths. Make sure I've got everything I can get. The last uh, archery upgrade, the last sword upgrade. Yeah, so I'm pretty close to being uh, as far along as I can do as far as upgrades and things. Build one more field down here for those women. All right, I've got elephants going off on their own probably to capture that. Why not? We'll just let that happen. You guys finish building the Civic Center and then I'd like you to garrison the Civic Center. Make sure it's garrisoned, at least with some troops, so uh, it's not as easy to capture. Leave it garrisoned with about three folks. All right. And they took out the civic center up here. There's a fortress up here that my hero elephant decided he was going to take the fortress out by himself. And he's going to accomplish that. It must not be garrisoned at all. So. Uh, we do have some of the red uh, players stuff down here. Looks like he did have a dock and a tower. And because you can train troops from a dock, you've got to capture it or destroy it. As long as he's got a building he can train more troops from, he's not technically defeated yet. Alright, and now we're getting into the green territory.
All right, I had this fortress fully garrisoned with 20 units. Let's go ahead and get them out. They don't need to be there anymore. Let's get them capturing what needs to be captured down here. Also don't need the tower garrisoned anymore. Yes, see? So I don't think I'm in any threat as far as, there's no way he's taking any of that from me now. Because now we've pushed the fight over over here to where he's at. So. Ah, we've got an elephant over here. Is that his hero? Yeah, I think that's his hero elephant. Yes, we killed his hero. Oh, we killed his hero. Also got these ships down here that we got to destroy. We killed the ships. Go ahead and capture his dock. Garrison the tower here. Now we've got both these towers that we've captured from him that are fully garrisoned. We need to kill these uh these towers here. Just destroy them. Alright. I'm gonna destroy the dock I captured. This just in the way. It really serves no purpose. I don't need it. They capture this tower. I might garrison this tower. All right, we did capture the tower. I will garrison that tower. I will ungarrison this tower because, again, now that we're further along, I don't think I'm gonna lose these towers here. I'll leave this one garrison too. It's still kind of close to the front lines. And now let's see if we can capture his civic center. If we capture the civic center, that's pretty much toast for this guy. The red player, I don't think we've officially gotten a defeat for. There's still probably some red units somewhere on the map I need to go search for. Let's see if I got any of my cab units here. Yes, I do. By the way, I'm low. Speaking of units, I haven't trained any units in a while. Let's go ahead and train some units, get some new folks out. Even though I don't think it's going to matter in this game, we did capture the Civic Center. So even though I lost some units, you know, it was worth it because I've still got 290 units, you know. Still pretty close to 300. And red is all but defeated. And green now, I mean, he's probably, I'd be shocked if he had more than... 50, maybe 100 units left. And they're going to be stuck away in these towers that are garrisoned, which I'm taking care of right now. So at this point, all we need to do... Yeah. I'm going to put these troops on violent mode, which means they attack anybody near them. And we're going to send them down here to this fortress. That fortress and that tower is probably it for green. And then I was going to send troops after whatever is left of red. I've got these 10 cab units. And the red player probably is down here somewhere. I see a red speck on the map. I also see a red speck over here toward the river. Uh, do I have any male soldiers that are hanging out over here anywhere? I've got these three. I will send them this way, just to see what's going on. Ah, I see it. This tower. That tower is the last of red. Uh, green, he lost his fortress. Let's see, what else does he have? don't see anything else, but I haven't explored the whole map, so I'm just going to send these guys around. This green has to have some other building that can produce troops, or he might, might actually just have some troops somewhere. It's going to take me forever to capture that. Those 10 cav units are not going to capture a fully garrisoned tower, so I've got to get more people to help them. 
All right. Let's see if we can figure out where green is at. Ah. Yep. He's up here. What is this? That's an elephant stable. That's a storehouse. The storehouse is not the problem. The elephant stable is going to be, be the problem. Because that's a building that obviously can train troops. No point in trying to capture the storehouse. It does nothing for us. See if we captured that tower yet. No, we destroyed it, though. And we're still need to find wherever the last of red is. Uh, he also had another fortress up here. You know what? I see a red speck on the map right in here somewhere. So I might need to have some cav units ride out. I'll send nine cav units to ride this way just to see. It might be that outpost. That's it, probably. Yep. That outpost. He probably has that garrison because you can put one person in an outpost. And that one person, of course, counts his population. Even if it's his last man, you know, he's technically not defeated until we, we get that. And we're still trying to finish off green here. Have to destroy this military colony. We captured his fortress and then have them kill everybody that's farming here. But there's also a couple of traders, merchant traders. And, yep, that's it for green. Alright, so let's send everybody back this way. That was Red's outpost there. Well, I have no idea where the last of Red is here. Not this tower, is it? No, that tower is nothing. Not the dock. Yep, it is the dock. It's these ships. But it's really the dock. Unless he had the ship's garrison, it's going to be the dock, because the dock can produce uh, more ships. Wow, and the ships killed all my units that were there. That's not good. I might train up some more units just in case, although I'm pretty sure we have all of this. Well, yeah, these ships might be garrisoned because they're killing my troops very quickly. Wow. Wow. I'm going to have to, uh... I'm going to have to be careful there. I don't want to just send... Send folks over there blindly, because those ships are just going to tear them up. Even though I'm pretty sure this is the end of the game. Oh well, let me drink a cup of coffee. Problem: the cav units can't do anything with the ships because they're sword cavalry. They'll never get that close. They'll just die. The archers that I have here can do something to the ships. Yeah, I'm losing everybody to these ships. That's crazy. I am losing everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna have to train a whole bunch of soldiers for this. This is crazy. There was also a ram garrisoned in one of the ships. Okay. So that was the problem. He had troops and a ram, a battering ram, garrisoned in one of the troops. And in one of the ships, that is. That made it very strong. All right. So against two very hard AIs, oh, we did pretty good there. The last 10 minutes or so was kind of pointless. I'd already had both of them defeated. I just had to go find the last of their troops. Uh, but we did pretty good. Economy score, I more than doubled the other players and that really is the difference the fact that I was able to get so much especially wood I had more wood than I'd ever need but on that map they probably had more wood than they'd ever need but I claimed all that metal at the top of the map and that was the difference because that allowed me to train I, I don't know how many uh, units I trained let's see train killed captured lost I trained 420 and I uh, killed 212 of the enemy. I only lost 228. So I killed as many as I lost, but against two opponents, you know, that's not bad. Uh, 
resources, look good, uh, market. This is a uh, trade income. Now, they actually traded. So they had traders, which uh, meaning they had two markets trading between each other, or they were using their merchant ships to trade. I did none of that. I didn't need to do any of that. So that was good on my part. Kill death ratio, uh, typically one is uh, one to one, meaning I killed one, I lost one. That's about where I was at. The red player actually had a very good kill death ratio. You would think he would have won the game with a 1.4 kill death ratio. The only problem is he was uh, in between me and the green player. So he probably got a lot of kills because he was the middle guy. So he had to attack everybody, but he was also being attacked. And ultimately, of course, that brought him down. So it's just a, a little bit of zero AD again. Well, my favorite free and open source game uh, that's available on Linux been around for years and it's just a, a fantastic game uh, that's pretty much all I had today I didn't have any kind of real content planned today I was actually going to take a few days off uh, uh, from uh, working and I felt like gaming I figured I'd get some of it on camera of course before I go I should thank my patrons Gabe James Mitchell Paul Scott West Akami Alan Chuck Commander Angry Diokai David Dylan Gregory Heiko Lee Maxim Michael Mike Nitrix Erion Alexander Peace Sergeant Fedora Polytech Raver Red Prophet Stephen and Willie they're my highest tiered patrons they are the producers of this episode and the show is also brought to you by each and every one of these ladies and gentlemen as well all these names you're seeing on the screen these are all my supporters over on Patreon because I don't have any corporate sponsors. It's just me and you guys, the community. And if you like my work and want to support me, look for DistroTube over on Patreon. All right, guys. Peace.